Welcome to the Vodacall Avaya end user training video for the 9508 phone. Our hope here is to show you just how simple using your new phone can be. We believe with some basic training and a little practice, this phone will be part of the best phone experience you've ever had. Let's start with the basics, shall we? When your phone was rolled out to you, you should have received two documents, the Avaya Quick User Guide for your phone and the Voicemail User Guide. If you don't have them, they can always be found at downloads.vodacall.com. Let's focus on the quick user guide for a moment. Each guide has a picture of the phone, breakdown of the keys, as well as a step-by-step -step guide for things like transfer, conference, voicemail, and other day-to-day -day functions of your phone. This covers all the basics for answering and moving a call around the office. These are also the things that, if not practiced, can have an effect on your customer and client experience when calling you. The key to your new phone is the soft keys that run along the bottom of the phone. These are the primary buttons that allow you to access a multitude of one-touch features, and they will change depending on if you're idle, if a call is ringing into you, or if you're on a call. So let's practice together. But first, let's get our mailbox set up. The steps for doing this are highlighted on the voicemail guide. The first time you log in, we ask that you dial star 17 instead of pressing your message button. This will set up your mailbox. The system will then ask you for an extension number and a password. Your default password will be pound. Welcome to a VIA IP office. For help at any time, press star H. Please enter extension and pound sign. Enter password and pound sign. Default is pound. Please enter new password and pound sign. Re-enter password and pound sign. Changed. As you use IP Office, your name will be included in system announcements that you and other people will hear. Press 1. And at the tone, please speak your name. After speaking your name, press 1 again. Demo phone. Demo phone. To re-record your name, press 1. To approve, press pound. Demo phone. No new messages. To record messages, press 1. To get messages, press 2. To administer personal greetings, press 3. Once the system has recorded your name, for all intents and purposes, your mailbox is now set up. Callers will hear... Your call has been answered by a VIA IP office. Demo phone. Is not available. To leave a message, wait for the tone. If you want to record a personalized greeting, then continue on to the additional steps in your guide by pressing 3. For all calls, the system greeting active. Follow to the prompts and record a, greeting, a new greeting. Your mailbox is now set up, and you're ready to make your first call. To make an internal call, either lift the handset or start dialing the extension number you were trying to call. To end the call, either press drop or hang up the speakerphone or place the handset down. To make an external call, simply start dialing the number to use the speakerphone or lift the handset first and begin to dial. In this particular case, you'll need to dial a 9. Thank you for calling all business communications. Once the call goes through, you can hang up. You can either hit the speakerphone button if you're on speakerphone, place down the handset, or press drop. When on a first call and a second call comes in, you will hear a chirp, and you will see the light lighting up next to the call. It will also tell you the extension number the call is coming in from. If you press the button with that call coming in, the first call will be placed on hold, and you've answered the second call. To toggle between them, just press the button of the call you wish to speak to, and the other call is automatically placed on hold. So let's try that one more time. First call comes in. You answer the call. Second call comes in, you hear a chirp. You see the bell, they'll show you which line it's ringing in on, and it's flashing. Press that flashing button, places your first call on hold, your second call you're now on. Toggle between them. If you wish to place them both on hold, you can use the hold key. They're now both on hold. Retrieve one call, drop that call, retrieve the other, continue on with your conversation. When you're done, either press the speakerphone button, replace your handset, or press drop. The next thing that we'll review is transferring a call. There are three ways to transfer a call. There is a blind transfer, which sends the call directly to the party. 
There is an assisted transfer, which allows you to announce the call first, and there is transferring to voicemail. The first call we're going to try is a blind transfer. First call comes in to you. You answer the call. Press your transfer soft key and dial the extension you're trying to transfer the call to. You can then hit complete or hang up and that will complete the transfer. The next kind of call we'll do is an assisted transfer where you announce the call first. First call comes in and you answer. Hit transfer. Dial the extension number. Once the person answers the call, you'll see that you're connected to them and the other call's on hold. Should they choose to not take the call, you can simply press the cancel key and you'll be returned to the other caller. So let's just repeat that again, assuming this is the first call that came in. We'll press transfer, dial the extension number. Second person answers the call and they say they'd like to take that phone call. You can either hang up the handset or press complete. The call is now gone. We'll do that scenario one more time, except for this time, we're gonna transfer the call all the way through to voicemail. So the first call comes in, and we answer that phone call. It's for extension 201, so we hit transfer, 201, and we announce the call to them. They tell us that they don't wanna take that phone call. So we'll hit cancel. We're back with the original calling party. So this time what we'll do is a call will come in, we'll answer it, it'll be for extension 201, we'll transfer, 201 will refuse the call, so we'll pull the call back and transfer to 201's voicemail. So the call comes in. We answer the call. Hit transfer. Dial 201's extension. We're now com communicating with 201. They decide they don't want to take the call, so we cancel. Then we hit transfer again. We're going to hit the pound sign and then dial 201. Then hit complete. That call has now been sent to 201's voicemail. Now let's review doing a conference call. So the first call comes in. We answer that call. Or it could have been a call that we dialed out to. We're going to choose our conference soft key. It will place the first call on hold and give us dial tone. We're then going to dial another number. If you make a mistake, you can hit cancel. We hit conference. Again, dialing a 9 to get an outside line. Once we get that call on the phone, we can hit conference again. And it brings the two parties together. We'll now add a third person to this call. Hit conference. And dial extension 201. Once we have them on the phone, we can hit conference again. You'll now see that we're all brought together. If we press the details soft key, it will actually show us all the parties that are on the phone and allow us to either drop or mute them. That's including ourselves. This is extension 203. So I actually can drop myself off this call by highlighting myself and pressing drop. Or I can scroll down and eliminate extension 204 from this call. You'll now see that they're gone and we're talking to the other people. You also heard the beep to let you know that they're gone. We can also mute somebody. If we decide to mute them, you'll see a line go through their handset and that will let you know that they're no longer able to speak. This is good if someone's driving down the highway or the wind is blowing, so on and so forth. So I'll drop myself from this call, and now you'll see I have no calls, hit back, and I'm returned to my main screen. The last thing that we should take a look at is parking a phone call. This phone has 24 programmable buttons, eight per screen. Here's the first eight. I hit my right arrow key. Here's my next eight. And then if you look here, I have nothing programmed on the last date. Going all the way through will bring me all the way back to the beginning again. So I have call park one, two, and three. Parks can be considered global holds and are a way to put a call on hold for somebody when you're not sure where they are. So first call comes in. We're gonna answer that call. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that call on park. We'll use park one. You'll see that call has come off of my phone and is now residing on park, and the light is flashing green. That call is showing up on everybody else's phone as a flashing red light next to park one. Somebody could walk over to a phone, and they could press park one, and they could pick that call up. You'll see that call has now come off of park and has been picked up somewhere else. I'm now gonna have that person put it back on call park so you can see what a park would look like that was not parked on your phone.
Now you see that that park is flashing red. If you wanted to retrieve a park, you could press the button and then either press connect or press the button again. If that call was parked on someone else's phone, you'd see the park flashing red. To retrieve that call, press park and then press connect. You're now talking to that extension again. The same goes for any of your other parks. The key to using parks is to never retrieve a call that someone didn't tell you is for you. If we do that successfully, parks work wonderfully. Now we're going to review the buttons on your phone. The first one that we'll look at is the messages button. When you press this, it will bring you to visual voicemail. When we first asked you to set up your voicemail box, we asked you to use star 17 to do initial setup. From here on out, you can use the visual voicemail. The options here are to listen, and it gives you how many messages are in your mailbox, new, old, and saved. You can record a message. You can adjust your greeting. You can change your password. Or you can turn your voicemail on and off. We ask that you don't turn your voicemail off unless your administrator has suggested you do so. To return back to the main menu, you can either press your phone button or exit. The next buttons we'll look at are your keypad. We've been using these quite frequently already, so I'm sure you see what they do, but they allow you to scroll through different options depending on where you are on the phone. The next button is your phone. This is your home button. This brings you back to your main screen no matter where else you are. And we'll show you that in just a moment. Here's your contacts. Once we take a look at your contacts, you'll see here we have all. This also shows you that your arrows will work in this particular case, right and left. If I go right, these are my personal. One more is my external. And then lastly is my users. My users are all the users on the system. External are all the external numbers that can be stored at the system level by your administrator. Then you have your personals, which are only available on your phone. And lastly, you have all your phone numbers. You can use this pad to scroll through these, call them, or see details on when the last time you called that person was. Return to your main screen by pressing the phone key. The next button is your menu. This will give you your call settings, applications, screens and sound to adjust your ringers, uh, your contrast, brightness, and then some advanced options. This will return you back. Now you have your history. You'll notice that the history is lit up red. That's because things have happened since the last time I checked my history. In other words, calls came in, I missed calls, any of those kind of things. So here's my history. First it shows me my missed calls. And again, the arrows let me know that I can toggle through. I have my incoming calls my outgoing calls. This is something that I use all the time. If I wanted to, I could look at the details for this. If I hit more, I can also add this contact. This would allow me to store the contact in a directory. Return to my main screen by hitting the phone key. I also have my headset and my speakerphone buttons which toggle my headset and my speakerphone on and off. I also have my mute button which mutes my speakerphone, my headset, or my handset. And my volume which also adjusts the volume on my speakerphone my handset, or my headset. This just here is my microphone. The remaining buttons on your phone will be programmable buttons that can be programmed by your administrator. In this case, we have a Do Not Disturb button. If we were to press that, it would highlight the button green and would turn Do Not Disturb on. Some other buttons that we might be able to take a look at are our Redial button. If we press that, it gives us a list of all the people we've called recently. We can scroll through and call those people. You'll notice that call also appears where redial was, so by simply pressing that button twice, it will call the last person you spoke with. Return to the main screen by pressing your phone key. This concludes our training of the 9508 via telephone. We hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have any further questions, you can always reach us at support.votacall.com. We thank you for your time and hope you enjoy your new phones.